Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again, and we just got finished with the AMD keynote. And while we're not quite ready to give a full recap over the announcements that they made there, as well as some additional information, as there's questions that we have, and we still have our meeting with them one-on-one, -on -one, we did want to bring you some of the demos that they showed with their big announcements being the Ryzen 3000 series. They were very slim on details on it, but they did show a demo using it and the new Radeon 7. So that's the new uh, Vega-based GPU, 60 compute units, 16 gigs of VRAM, 25% uplift over previous generation in performance, and supposedly going to be taking on the RTX 2080. So as far as demos, the first one we've got up is actually Devil May Cry 5. They're running it at 4K, and well, I'll get out of the way and let you see that one. running on Radeon 7, and it's the latest version of the successful Devil May Cry action adventure feature series from Capcom. AMD has actually worked very closely with the development team to optimize the game engine to create the photorealistic characters and some of the environments that you see here. And if you take a look at the performance, we have the frame rates up there. You can see the game is running super, super fast in 4K ultra settings, way above 60 frames per second. So, there you see it. I want to give a really, really big thanks to our partners at Capcom for letting us show the MC5 before it launches. Um, this title launches March 8th, and we're really excited to uh, be working with Capcom on it. So. All right, so if there's a little bit of shake in there, I apologize. I was holding the camera freehand in the event while taking pictures with my phone. So great job there. So, so the next one we got up is Forza Horizon 7 using the Radeon 7 and the Ryzen 3000. Now the Ryzen 3000 is an early engineering sample, so final clocks aren't set, but you'll be able to see the performance of these two compared at 4K ultimate settings. So what you're seeing is a early version of our third gen Ryzen desktop processor. Uh, by the way, it's also running with Radeon 7 GPU. Um, it's running the uh, performance-intensive Forza 4 gaming from Microsoft Studios. And we like this game because it really stresses the computing power. And as you can see, we have the frame rates up there. Um, the game is running consistently at more than 100 frames per second at 1080p with maximum settings. This system that James is running is the most advanced PC gaming hardware in the world, together in one system. Third gen Ryzen, Radeon 7. What do you think? And so what would a CPU demonstration be without Cinebench? Everybody knows Cinebench, so they ran Cinebench R15 with the undisclosed frequency of the unfinished Ryzen 3000 up against the clocks, up against the Intel Core i9-9900K at its rated clock speed. So no overclocking, no any funny thing there. And we're gonna see how they perform in comparison. Core i9-9900K running the industry standard in a bench benchmark. So no, let me tell you what we're running. We're running eight core 16 thread Ryzen, not final frequency, early, uh, early, uh, early uh, sample, and we're riding, running stock frequencies of the uh, of the Intel part. So, Lewis and Amit, are you ready? Okay, let's start the demo, please. So, Cinebench is going to run for a little while. What you're also seeing, uh, just so you know, are the uh, powers. These are the system powers that you see from each. And uh, as I said, the image on the left is uh, the competing, the competing processor. The image on the right uh, is Ryzen. And what you can see, let's take a look at the Cinebench scores. Ryzen looks like 25, 2057. Our competitor is running at 2040. So um, that sounds like a win. Does it sound like a win? Yeah. 
All right, again, guys, I do apologize for a bit of shake in the camera and a little bit of delay in focusing, but that is the demos that they showed off, and we will come back to you later this week with a lot more details on the Ryzen 3000 CPUs as well as Radeon 7. So hope you enjoyed that. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you guys in the next one.